Hey, what's going on guys? Sam Wynian here, and today we're going to be heading to our secondary base. Base 2, I have have it marked on our back. Or, uh, okay. well, I have no idea what that is, but we're heading to our base 2 over there, so we'll see when we get there. Alright, looks like we have arrived at our destination. I totally did not get chopped in half by, uh, yeah, I'll freaking smoke you. <laughs> I totally didn't get chopped in half by uh, a psycho Steve. Didn't happen. <laughs> How did I get blo Okay, I, I do. Okay, I got blown up. Close enough. I forgot about all the stuff we got in here. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna need more of those, uh, those magazines. Mechanical parts. Hmm. So, how do I want my, my base to be in this shipping container here? <laughs> Man. It's kind of funny, really. Oh, crap. One of my freaking uh, keys on my keyboard keeps sticking, and boy, is it just causing quite the issue. Budget cuts are real, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> a small man. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna start just unloading a bunch of this crap. <laughs> it's unnecessary to say the least. Hmm. What what else should we yeah? Okay, we're just gonna put all over everything that's in this area, this secret base in this one spot. Anti-rad pills. Mmm. Don't do pills. Don't do uh, pills, kids. <laughs> that stuff's terrible. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna just dump everything in here. Click, 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 click. Alright. Okay, that's everything. Ooh, haha, <laughs> look at that. You get a little island up there. Don't worry, this is gonna be our primary bo base of operations. That's not gonna look like this forever, certainly. So we're going to start building walls and stuff. Hmm. Now, what we need to do... Look at that. Apparently we died from that one time. I do say, that's a fine looking base. Okay, I already emptied all this out. This is our secondary base. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go mining, I guess. That's that's a good thing to do. Or, shit, we don't have any resources. So if anything, we're gonna be clearing stuff out, like all this dirt here. Actually, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're start gonna start clearing shit, this shit out. This is the one time in my life that I don't have a shovel. Is when I need one. I have no idea why we don't have a crafting table in here, but right next to the furnace, it's looking a lot like home already. So he's gonna take it that out of context and be like, hey, he has a crafting table next to his bed. The Minecraft music is playing, ladies and gents. All right, so. Oh yes, I re I forgot how slow this stuff is. Okay, we're just gonna do a little terraforming. That's 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 it. That's just a little bit of terraforming. I feel like if I actually 
remove the whole mountain. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're basically line it, line this up with this, kind of, if you will, kind of like that. So if I don't, then I'm gonna be doing this for a long time. So yeah, they basically gave me a ravine between this and the uh, I'm not a really good terraformer, honestly. Alright. Mine, 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 mine. Mine, mine. Okay. Got him. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. Now we could take the road back a little, but honestly I think I don't think that's too bad. Give these hills some definition here. And once it snows again, it will look completely normal. Look at that. Now if you wanted to, you could actually compare that to that. That goes back a little more. This goes back a little more. Start pushing everything all back a little more. Ooh, that little lag that we had there. <laughs> My computer's warming up now. <laughs> Just like that, it's even better than was. Just got to trim this up. Definition. It's all about definition. And there we go. So now we have a two wide path. And it blends in pretty seamlessly, actually. Now we could also, what we could do, is we could cover this in so it's actually all level. And then add definition as usual. Get rid of some of these seeds and stuff. We're going to bring this out a little. And we're going to start divining this. So, okay. So, like, probably like a little curve here. It's okay to make it a little sporadic. Because if it doesn't, it looks kind of unusual. Just like... I did over there. <laughs> there we go. No ice to worry about either. There we go. That looks decent, to say the least. <laughs> Trim out some of the grass here for now. All right, there we go. That's a uh, that's a lot better. Hey, I didn't know you could actually walk on that. Look at that. That's all... And it's all pretty secure. Like, you can see everything from up here. Except for... You can see all the mobs in here. I should start grabbing on the chest. But we're not... Yeah, we're not going to. We might use that for, like, ammo or something later on. Use this one as a secondary storage. <laughs> All right. Okay, now we need to collect more. Uh, actually, what we need to do first is collect more wood and then make some ladders. So I didn't bring enough wood on, on this this excursion. 
think we have V minor though, so we're good on that aspect. First things first, take down whatever is flammable close to your base. Obviously, that's a good idea. Even if your base is made out of a shipping container, do not freaking make sure you always have some sort of like protection against fire. <laughs> Best, the best production is prevention. Or something like that, I don't know. See so if you prevent anything like flammable from getting near your base. I mean, besides like fuels and stuff. But like trees and stuff don't really need that close to your base. Grass could be an issue too, but less likely. Less is dried out. Look at that, that looks a lot better. You can actually see everything. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go blow that up at some point. <laughs> that freaking island up there. I'm just going to go ahead and eradicate the whole entire bunch of trees in here. The whole lot. That's plenty of... That should be more than enough for ladders. Oop, boom. Alright. Now we'll... There's so many things we could do with this. We could make an underground secret base. Oops. I'm trying not to make any chests. I'm trying to make some uh, ladders. I don't have an ender pearl, so we can't make any uh, elevators. <laughs> Alright. Dang, I already, already have some iron going on here. Boom. It's dark down here. Right, there we go. We got a small little area in here. Ah. I don't know what that does, but okay, we're gonna get well, we're gonna get some torches and that coal. The lead. I don't want any lead. I want coal. Do I look like I can? I I need lead right now. Alright, there we go. So, do we got any coal? Of course not. <sighs> boy, oh boy. I really need one for now. Go back down here, we're gonna. We'll start cleaning out a lot more. everything but freaking coal <laughs> damn it it's not really that deep come on now ah right there of course 
everywhere except where I need it to be. Okay, we're not actually going to do an underground base for this one. We're making it like a compound, if you will. Alright, so we're going to fill that up. That's going to look ugly. <laughs> Alright, three on this side. We're going to do three on this side and make it a full even six blocks across the board which is actually going to be seven I know my math kind of does not add up looks like we got some more copper some my recording software is covering the freaking name of that stuff so I can't really see it that well got some more copper What are you? <laughs> Lignite. I probably mispronounced that. I mispronounce everything. I get three brain cells and they're all stupid. <laughs> Alright. That starts off a base well. A base of operations. Make double chest. It's like the biggest flex when you're first starting out. And the typical dump. Dump all our rubbish in there. Alright, there we go. Now we can expand even more on this. It's not going to be wide, but it's going to be long. I mean, it is kind of wide. It's going to be long, too. Probably a couple more. Because if anything, this is probably where all the machines are going to go. All the processing stuff will be outside, so it's going to look like a refinery some at some point. Uh, once we get enough copper and everything, we'll start, like, smelting stuff down. We're going to make an auto smelter kind of like thing. Since we got magnite, that like that makes four copper or not copper, iron uh, ingots each. So So if that's four copper ingots each and we have like I don't know how much we really got. We got some at back at the original base too. So we got six, so that'd be Yeah, don't ask me to do math. Let's be like 40. Uh, 6 times 4. Uh, that'd be... Mm. Yeah, really don't ask me to do math. <laughs> Okay, it'd be 28. <laughs> oh, goodness. I, th I think I was thinking like 8. Yeah, that still wouldn't work out. Never mind. I'm not, I'm not going to bother trying to talk my way out of my stupidity. More copper. We're going to have so much bloody copper. The tweakers are going to pull up and be like, hmm, what's doing your kappa, boyo? <laughs> That's 10. Oh, I made an advancement. Hey. More 10. There's so much 10. It's all low level ores. I don't see 15 kinds of uh, iron in here.
All right, there we go. That looks pretty nice, actually. Now we could either go down one or go up one. I think we're going to go up because that's a lot more simpler than going down at this point because then you'd have to move the chest and everything. Oh, once we get a chisel, we're actually going to do some simple, like, chiseling the blocks so it looks different. Nothing fancy. But it's going to be certainly unique because it's going to be uh, very, like, patchy, like, different colors. Just some diorite on the side here, even though it looks like bird crap. <laughs> Alright, let's get up here. Come on. Alright, there we go. I can still see the... Mm, whatever. Mmm, that's more lead. <laughs> My pockets are going to be heavy and I ain't got no cash. I don't really know what that was supposed to mean exactly. Whatever context I was in, <laughs> that was stupid. Actually, maybe it do actually yeah, it doesn't make that. Mm, never mind. <laughs> it doesn't really th sound as stupid now that I think about it. All right. All right. So first things first, we're gonna go back up the ladder. I hate that. I hate when that happens. All right, we're actually gonna we're actually gonna transverse back to my other base to grab the necessary supplies. Cause I know I have more magnite, magnetite or whatever. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's magnetite. Hit. <laughs> we actually like we have more of that at the base. So road trip. That'll probably be in the next episode, actually. Yeah. But we can actually make a chisel now. And I have iron. So we'll actually make a chisel. So we can actually chisel it up and make it look at least a little cooler. Uh, it's going to be hard to chisel the stone. Because we don't really have any. Oh, we could actually make a diamond chisel. That seems like a stupid investment, but yeah, we're going to make it. I, I was wondering if I remembered how to make it or not. Alright. Actually life hack here ladies and gentlemen if you do that take that out put it in here then you can uh, get uh, stone blocks that way alright what design should we do for this cracked ah, that's great come on man Maybe you should do regular. Or uh, maybe the mossy. The mossy probably looks best. Because it's both clean. Well, I mean, not really clean, like, look-wise. But it's a better visually appealing if done correctly. Which this is certainly not going to be done correctly. Okay, we can do regular chiseled... Certainly give that it uh, the unique, <laughs> the unique <laughs> feeling. Sometimes I don't even. I sometimes I wonder if I know how to speak English. <laughs> the fuck does unique mean? <laughs> All right, which one do we do with this? Right, this like uh, 
cracked bricks esque kind of thing. Weathered bricks. It looks very lazy, and that's kind of the idea I'm going for, so. Sweet. I don't think there's anything I can do to the marble, but I will certainly get the diorite and the granite. Andesite. I already did the granite. A different look. Hey, <laughs> looks cool. In my opinion. It's certainly interest. It's very interesting, actually. All right. Let's see if we can do anything with. Oh, we can. I didn't actually think you could do anything with the marble. In that case, <laughs> hell yeah, that's actually gonna look really good. I am sure it looks it looks weird, but in a cool kind of way, I guess. Look at that. I actually don't hate it. Okay, we're gonna make that a weathered brick too. A weathered brick, boyo. All right, andesite. I'm assuming you make bricks out of that. Yeah, they don't look okay. That's probably the only ugly looking part of it. That literally looks like a bird just came by and just dropped a brick. We also got sandstone. Is that lime? Oh, it's limestone. I'm stupid. Oh, it's actually a chisel block itself. Come on, boyo. There we go. See, that doesn't look really too horrible. And a site fools me every time. Ah, oh. man, I do be hate when my fingers be cracking though. <laughs> Missed one. Damn. All right. There we go. He is all done. Look at that. That's a very interesting aesthetic. I don't really know if I like it. I don't hate it, certainly. It's, it's weird. It's a very weird aesthetic because, like... It's a very earthened kind of like dwarf kind of. I actually no, I don't. I think dwarf like art, dwarven art would probably be a, a lot more uh, ornate or uh, like sophisticated, if you will. I don't know. I really like the look of the uh, like andesite. Where's the andesite? That one. It looks like a cartoon block, really. Like a cartoony kind of look. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like it, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.